Hello students, it is the part 2 of the chapter Acids, Bases and Salt. In the previous video, we have seen chemical properties as well as physical properties of acid. So, we will talk about four more chemical properties given in your NCRT book of acids. We will understand these chemical properties one by one with the help of activity given in your book. So let's start and see the activity which is about how acids react with metals. In this activity 2.3, first we will take a conical flask and in this conical flask we added zinc granules and afterwards we are going to take and add 5 ml of dilute sulfuric acid to it. And now here you can see the bubbles, gas bubbles are arising in the conical flask. We seal the conical flask and first we see the bubbles in water and then in this soap solution. So here you can see in the soap solution large amount of air bubbles are formed. These air bubbles are of a colorless gas. Let's see which type of colorless gas it is. For this students we are going to do a confirmatory test. Right? So we are going to take a burning matchstick near to it and see what happened. Here you see the gases explode with a pop-up sound. Just now you have seen an activity. Now let us see students how the gases formed in this reaction and what is the chemistry behind the activity 2.3. So for understanding the reaction and the chemistry we first need to understand a basic concept of reactivity series. So what is reactivity series? Basically it is a list of metals which are aligned or which are aligned in their decreasing reactivity. That means the metal which is present at, at the top is most reactive whereas the metals at the bottom is the least reactive. So why it is important and why we are discussing it you must be wondering right. So let come to the point. As we all know student acids when dissolved in water give H plus ion by the concept of Arrhenius right. So here we have taken acid namely sulfuric acid which we have seen in the activity. So when, when the sulfuric acid dissolves in water it forms H plus ions what it will be forming H plus ion and it will break you can say it will break into two different ions one is the H plus one and other one is the sulfate ions SO4 2 minus ions now what happened look at here the zinc which is placed above the hydrogen that means zinc ka reactivity hydrogen se zyada hoga so what zinc will do 
zinc displaces hydrogen from its solution and form zinc sulfate remember the displacement reaction from the chapter 1 yes in displacement reaction a more reactive element always displaces less reactive element from its solution so let's see the concept again in this reaction we have taken student in this reaction we have taken hcl so hcl will dissolve in water what will happen it will break down into two different ions one is the h plus and other one is the cl minus so again we will see the reactivity series now here magnesium is placed above the hydrogen that means hydrogen is more re less reactive and magnesium is more reactive so what will magnesium do student magnesium displaces this hydrogen and forms bond with the cl which forms magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas and that's why the hydrogen gas releases so one thing here to notice all the metals which is present above the hydrogen are able to displace hydrogen and form or releases hydrogen gas remember hydrogen se jitne bhi reactivity mein kam metals honge wo hydrogen gas release nahi karenge always remember the point so what we say we can say in general right in general means aisa hota hai but there are some exceptions to hum keh sakte hain in general all the metals when react with acid any acid you can take right you can take any uh, you can take hcl h2so4 or hno3 basically we are here we are talking about inorganic acids right because they are very strong so we only take strong acids here so when metals react with acid they releases hydrogen gas and form a compound and that compound is known as salt to so, yahan pe hamare paas zinc sulfate jo bana hai isko hum zinc sulfate salt bolenge and mgcl2 is known as magnesium chloride salt i hope aapko ye activity clear ho gayi hogi so let's move on to the next chemical property of acids but remember we are going to understand the next property also with the activity right so let's start the activity students now we are going to see another activity activity 2.5 and in this activity has here you can see in your book we require metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonate so for metal carbonates you can take sodium carbonate you can take a uh, calcium carbonate right here we are taking sodium carbonate so in this container we are going to add metal carbonate which is your sodium carbonate we are adding few grams of it inside a container afterwards what we are going to do is we are going to take a apparatus which we have created having two delivery tubes one tube is going to be inside your lime water lime water that means chune ka pani jise kehte hain which is used in your white washing so here you can see we have put the tube inside the lime water and on the other tube we are going to add drop by drop acid to it you can take hydrochloric acid or uh, dilute sulfuric acid so here you can see as we add acid to it reaction starts and in the lime water here you can see bubbles these bubbles are of carbon dioxide how it confirms because carbon dioxide turns lime water milky now see what will happen if we give more carbon dioxide 
to the lime water so here you can see the solution is turning colorless i hope you have enjoyed watching the activity now let us see how the carbon dioxide gas is formed and what type of salt we obtain in the reaction so first we need to understand about metal carbonates and what are metal bicarbonate or metal hydrogen carbonate yes metal hydrogen carbonate are also known as metal bicarbonates so basically it is metal you can take any metal you can take potassium magnesium zinc right and carbonate means co correct and what is metal hydrogen carbonate means any metal you can take m for here m means metal right and hydrogen carbonate means h co3 correct so when this metal carbonate and metal hydrogen carbonate as you observe in the activity they releases co2 whenever they react with acid you can also do a very basic experiment in your home for this you only required two things basically to carry out the experiment for this you need a baking soda a kitchen soda used by your mother in cooking food right and all you need is a you can take acetic acid you can take citrus acid that means lime juice aap le sakte ho you can take lemon juice and when you pour lemon juice in the baking soda you will observe bubbles on the surface of baking soda and these bubbles are of carbon dioxide correct so now let's move to the point let's come to the point student so what happened here as discussed earlier hcl you can take any acid you want so here i have taken hcl whenever acid dissolves in water what happened it splits and form h plus ions and the negative ions positive ion ko h plus ion and negative hamare paas abhi hamare paas chloride ions hai right likewise this is your sodium carbonate so sodium carbonate bhi kya hai sodium is positive and carbonate is negative correct so what happen the sodium will form bond with the chlorine correct and the hydrogen will form bond with the carbonate so here you can see there is an exchange of ions remember double displacement reaction right so this is also an example of double displacement reaction so what happens na react with cl and form the sodium chloride right and second product we get is h Two CO three. You will be saying, ma'am, here you have written water and carbon dioxide. Actually, what happens initially? This carbonic acid is formed. H two CO three is formed. Hydrogen carbonate is formed. But, a uh, student, this hydrogen carbonate is not stable. so what happened it breaks into water and releases carbon dioxide and that's how the reaction takes place the same reaction takes place with the metal carbonates so here you can see nacl3 which is sodium hydrogen carbonate when react with hcl what will happen hcl breaks into h plus and cl minus any react with the cl and hc3 hco3 reacts with the h again it will form nacl plus hydrogen carbonate first and because hydrogen carbonate is unstable 
decompose into two products again hydro water and the carbon dioxide so we have also seen the conformity test of carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide conformity test is done by lime water now what is lime water you know it is a scientifically known as कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड बेसिकली चूने का पानी जिसे कहा जाता है जिसको आप यूज करते हो व्हाइट वॉशिंग में यू हैव ऑलरेडी नोन और अंडरस्टैंड इट इन चैप्टर वन तो व्हेन द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस इज पास टू द लाइम वाटर विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ डिलीटेड ट्यूब व्हाट हैपेंस इट फॉर्म्स अ प्रोडक्ट व्हिच इज इनसॉल्युबल एंड इनसॉल्युबल सब्सटेंस इज नोन एज precipitate this insoluble substance give milkiness in the lime water and that's why the lime water appear milky from the colorless isi wajah se wo colorless na hokar hame milky dikhai dete hai correct okay now next question is what happen when we give excess amount of carbon dioxide so what happened this calcium carbonate this precipitate when react with more carbon dioxide it forms calcium hydrogen carbonate and a very strange thing that this calcium carbonate is soluble in water then what will happen the milkiness disappears and we and we get colorless lime water again so this is a very important reaction try to understand and comprehend it now moving to our next chemical property of acid which is how acid and bases react with each other again we are going to watch an activity like how activity is connected and we will talk about the chemistry behind it now we will see activity 2.6 this activity is also known as neutralization reaction because in this acid and base kills or neutralize each other effects and produces salt plus water let's see here we have taken nh in a watch glass and in this we are going to add indicator phenolphthalein you know phenolphthalein when reacts with base gives pink color so the colorless phenolphthalein gave pink color in a base now see what happened when we add drops of hcl to it here you can see we are going we are adding drop by drop hydrochloric acid to the solution and you can see gradually the color pink start disappearing because here the acid neutralize the effect of base present in the solution here you can see all the pink color disappears but my question is what happen when we pour base again to it will the pink color reappears that is the question to think so let's see what happen when we add sodium hydroxide again to it we are adding few drops of it we are adding drop by drop we have pour one drop and here you can see the pink color 
reappears right so can we disappear it again yes why not let's add hcl to it so here you can see the color disappears again after watching the video about the activity i hope you are able to understand that the base and acid used to neutralize each other right so let's see this with an chemical reaction so here i have taken a base base may be have is sodium hydroxide right base is the one that releases oh minus always remember and here we are, i have taken hcl which is a acid you can take any base or any acid all are going to give you salt and water any base or any acid you can take so let's see the reaction here so what will happen both will dissociate in water and releases their respective ions acid release h plus ion and cl minus here nh splits into na plus or oh minus now again there is exchange of ion is going to take place double displacement reaction ho rahi hai yahan pe to na is going to react with bache with the chloride ion and the this h is going to react with your hydroxide ion so here you can see what we will get we will get nacl na plus cl minus h2o water so what you observe is that when a base and acid are going to react with each other they will always form a salt and water this reaction is known as neutralization reaction and remember this is a very important reaction in your syllabus and an important topic to understand about student let me give you some more examples of neutralization reaction in your day to day life so let's talk about this picture first we have studied in chapter 6 that in our stomach hcl is there right but what happened when this hcl is releases in large amount then the inner lining of stomach start burning and that situation is known known as acidity right so what you will do you have seen multiple ads in your uh, in in the tv channels right they suggest you eno and some other products so the eno we are talking about it has a base right that base helps you to neutralize the effect of acid which is in excess amount in your stomach so you can take eno or you can take any other base for example we have milk of magnesia yeah there is a milk of magnesia which has a chemical formula of mg magnesium hydro oxide so this is used as an antacid antacid means anything that kills the effect of acid so milk of magnesia is suggested or recommended by doctors when you have acidity in your stomach right so what it will do it will neutralize the excess acid in your stomach and give relief to the lining of your stomach let's see another example so here you have you can see it is a bee the bee stings the bee sting got whenever a bee stings you on your skin what it does it releases a acid 
Now, which type of acid it is? It releases formic acid. Or, its ka jo dusra naam hai, which is methanoic acid. Formula hai iska HCOOH. So, jabhi bhi these thing, you feel the sensation, right? Aapko haat mein bhoat eaching hona churo jata hai. That eaching is due to the acid releases by the bee. So, uske effect ko overcome karne ke liye, what you can do? You can use baking soda. You can also use toothpaste because toothpaste also has base in it. That will neutralize the effect of the acid secreted or releases by the bee. And in this picture, this is a very interesting picture. Here you can see the girl has a citrus fruit in his hand, right? So what she is doing, she is injecting base. She is injecting. It has a base, any base, right? Which have phenolphthalein in it. So is in. So she is injecting. Phenolphthalein in base, right? In the citrus fruit. Ideally, होना क्या चाहिए that inside जो citrus fruit होना चाहिए जब आप उसे cut करोगे, you will see you got to see some pink color inside the citrus fruit. But what happened when she cut the fruit? She observe no presence of base. It is because the acid present in the citrus fruit neutralize the effect of base. So all these are the basic examples of neutralization reaction. We will study more examples in the next video lesson. We have next activity 2.7 which is reaction of metallic oxides with acids see here we have taken metallic oxide namely copper second oxide right what we have done we have burnt copper so we get copper second oxide right in this we are adding few drops of acid hydrochloric acid in it so let's see what happens so whenever copper oxide or any metallic oxide reacts with acid they form salt plus water so here you can see the solution color changes from colorless to lightish green color in it so you can closely see this this is how the reaction is carried out students after watching the video there must be many questions in your mind like what is metallic oxide and what type of product is formed after metallic oxide reacts with acid so let's start with metallic oxide so metallic oxides basically are the compounds which are formed when metal react with oxygen. Let me give you an example which you have studied in your chapter 1. Like when we burn magnesium ribbon in oxygen, it produces magnesium oxide. Right? So magnesium is your metal and oxide ke liye we have symbol is O. So what we will get? We will get metallic oxide. Always remember whenever a metallic oxides react with acids, they form salt and water. Now, let us see what happens during the reaction. So, we have taken copper oxide. Student, actually copper are blue color crystals. But when copper heated in air they produces black color substance which is copper oxide right so we have taken copper oxide and to the copper oxide we have added hydrochloric acid 
then what happened water releases and a compound is formed which is copper second chloride right so this compound is your salt and this is your water correct which is this salt is bluish green in color which you already observe in the activity here we have two more examples you can take sodium oxide and sodium oxide react with hcl or any acid it forms salt and water likewise with the magnesium oxide it forms magnesium chloride and water now the the interesting thing is which you have studied in the previous slide that whenever a base react with acid what we get we get salt and water likewise in this case we are getting the same products what that means here hcl is acid right so this has to be your basic in order to get salt and water correct because salt and water tab banta hai jab hamare paas acid aur base ka reaction correct and for the acid we have is hcl and now, now here this copper oxide is behaving as a base so it forms salt and water i hope you are able to understand all the four chemical reactions with the help of activity we will see how bases react with other substances and how and what is their chemical properties in the next video lesson